Hi, welcome to Siemens NX video tutorial. It's a follow up to the last one, the advanced stand, now an improved stand. This time I used section surfaces because it's more convenient to use a section surface than to create arcs and then use a swept. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. So I want to use the feature replay to show you what I did before. It's the same which I did in the last video. First I drew a 3D spline. Then I put a plane at one endpoint normal to that 3D spline. And on that plane I did a sketch and I drew a equally sided triangle. Then I did a swept with a rotation. Then I extracted the edges as composite curves three times. Then I did another swept, but this time the turns were the other way around. And again I did three extracts to get my composite curves. And that's where we can start to do the section surfaces. So let's go to surface, go to more, go to section surface, and select a circular one and mode center radius. And I want to use those composite curves as start guides and spine curves. And the radius of that law here should be, let's check it, let's go back to our triangle. Where is it? There you go. So that was 40 millimeters. So I want to go for, let's say, two millimeter or one. Okay. Let's add a section surface. Section surface, there you go. Circular one. And I want to go for a two millimeter radius constant and the guide would be the first composite curve and the spine would be the same and please note it's by curve and I want to have a solid and that's obviously an old value so apply use the next one same radius select spine curve apply then select the third curve, select spine curve, apply. Then the fourth one. So it's pretty easy and fast to do. Much more convenient than the arc and swap method. Last one. And confirm. And cancel this out. Now I want to use another section surface. Let's use our first 3D spline here and do another section surface. Now I want to go for 41 minus, not minus, but divided by 2. So let's use that curve again. And this should be 41 divided by 2. And confirm. 
Now I want to use a shell. So go for home, go for shell, where is it? There you go. I want to remove this surface here and of course that one. And let's take a closer look. Let's go for a thickness of one millimeter. Now the first one, like that. This looks good. And confirm. And now I want to intersect that last section surface with those six before. And I do it separately and then unite those solids. Because there's a other way around, I always got an error message. So let's go for intersect. And I want to select that shell here with that section surface and I want to keep the target. So OK. Let's go for the first part. It should be the shell. Sorry. Go for the shell. Target should be that shell here. And the tool should be that section surface. Let's start with this one. And I want to keep the target. Apply. And then use that shell again. Go to the second one. Apply. And then use the shell once more. Go to the third one. Apply. Use the shell once more. Select the fourth one. Apply. Again the shell. Now the fifth one. Apply. And again the shell. And the last one here. And OK. Let's hide that shell solid. And hide that spline. And now in order to unite it will take a little while, so I will start and then stop the recording and start it again when it's finished. So go for a Unite and select the first one, select the second one. It will take a while and it will take longer with every step. So I will stop right here and then start the recording once it's done. OK, and it's done. So this is really a more convenient way to do it and it's quite faster. So. I hope this was helpful. hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, LinkedIn, Twitter and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.